In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. From the book, Meditating on Christ's Passion. Jesus' crown of thorns, and living in imitation of Christ and Blessed Mother. The most amazing things happen when you hand your life over to God completely and make every effort to love Him with all your heart. Here, the will of God is done as God wills, as long as God wills. Saint Gerard Magella. Everything that occurred during Christ's passion and crucifixion was not only sacrificial, but also meaningful beyond human comprehension. However, the story of our salvation did not end when Jesus died on the cross. The following traditional Catholic mystical wedding theology lesson for every soul has to do with the events that followed. Two very powerful moments that may come to mind are the wounding of Christ's side with the lance and the moment when his sacred body was removed from the cross and placed into the arms of his sorrowful mother. Let us consider what happened between these two events, specifically when the crown of thorns on Jesus' head was passed down and placed into the hands of his most holy mother. From City of God, the divine history and life of the Virgin Mother of God, as manifested to Venerable Mary of Agreda for the encouragement of men. They handed it down with great reverence and amid abundant tears, placing it in the hands of the sweetest mother. She received it prostrate on her knees, in deepest adoration bathed it with her tears, permitting the sharp thorns to wound her virginal countenance, impressing it to her face. She asked the Eternal Father to inspire due veneration toward the sacred thorns in those Christians who should obtain possession of them in future times. Love him with all your heart. A house founded on the cross will fear neither wind nor rain nor storm. Saint John Vianney. Jesus is so pleased when you take time to meditate on his passion and death and on your redemption. He thirsts for your love in return to deepen your understanding of his great love for you. Jesus begins this powerful lesson by presenting himself to you as an infant wearing the crown of thorns. Just imagine that sight. Can your heart even bear it? Jesus has presented himself to you this way for a reason. Can you guess what it is? Today's lesson. Jesus takes you on a journey through time and place, and the first stop is the foot of his cross after his death by crucifixion. There, you witness the moments together with Jesus when the crown of thorns was removed from his sacred head before his body was removed from the cross and presented to his holy mother. After Blessed Mother presses the crown of thorns to her face, Jesus once again shows himself to you as an infant, and once again you see that the Divine Child is wearing the crown of thorns. Jesus explains that each time Blessed Mother caressed her Divine Child, she also pressed his crown of thorns against her holy face. Fiat. The prophecy of Simeon is woven into what the Lord reveals to your soul, as are all the events of the Blessed Virgin Mary's life, including the times she held and kissed Jesus, and all the many ways she loved and cared for her Divine Son throughout his sacrificial life. This mystical pressing of the crown of thorns to Blessed Mother's face throughout Jesus' lifetime is a metaphor for her unconditional yes to God and her choice to live a holy and sacrificial life for the benefit of her children, including you and me. Jesus asks that you also be willing to reverently press his crown of thorns to your face throughout your life by giving God your unconditional yes and by loving much as you live 
serve, and patiently suffer in imitation of Jesus and Blessed Mother. Join all the people through all time who have accepted our Savior's crown of thorns, whether it was, is, or will be the entire crown, some thorns, or one thorn. He wants you to be counted among them. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Saint John Bosco. Did you know that you have a holy apostolate of reparation? You do. Everyone does. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, spiritual combat training, devotion for the dying, divine justice for every soul, how to prepare for a holy death, for prayers for the holy souls in purgatory, for more traditional Catholic faith formation throughout the lifespan, and to read Meditating on Christ's Passion at no financial cost as a PDF document in English, visit www.theworkofreparationtotheholyfaceofjesus.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By offering my face to my Eternal Father, nothing will be refused, and the conversion of many sinners will be obtained. <laughs>